Hello and welcome to the Watchman Channel. Thank you for joining me, friend. This prophetic word comes from Rayma Trainer, Atlanta, Georgia. Do not despise prophecy. Do not despise prophecy, but hold on to the good. 1 Thessalonians 5.20 There has been a very sneaky attack by the enemy to get people into critical prophetic fatigue. The boy who cried wolf syndrome. Many are treating prophecy with contempt because they do not understand how to hold on to the good. We must have the ability to hear him through the noise in order to judge rightly. This only comes through intimacy that cannot be attained secondhand. The collective voice of what God is saying to the church comes with enough time to prepare to respond. The coming shaking has been increasingly emphasized for about three years now by uncountable voices from many directions in various ways. Some assume that when a word is given, it must be fulfilled within a person's imposed timeline, but God doesn't always work exactly as we assume in regards to time. Many would agree with me that we have been in a seven-year cycle. Many saw and heard without full understanding of how to place the timing. All see in part. Do not turn a deaf ear, because this is not a false alarm. Consider Acts eleven twenty-seven through 30 Do you know the reason the Apostle Paul was traveling place to place to collect an offering for the church in Jerusalem? Did you know this was in response to a prophetic word about a coming famine? In about 44 AD, Agabus, a prophet in Jerusalem, prophesied a coming famine across the Roman world, which took place about three years later in 46 and 47 AD. Paul's action to raise funds from the Gentiles to support the church in Jerusalem were for this purpose. The prophets spoke. The apostles enacted plans in response to the revelation in order to protect the church. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, for this this perfect example from Scripture, Father. Lord Jesus, I pray that we would hold on to the good. Lord Jesus, there are so many prophetic words out there, so many that are important, spoken by so many voices. Think of all the places in the world just this channel highlights ministers from. They're all over the world, friend. They're not just in one part of America or one part of South Africa or one part of Australia, but Lord, they're all over. Lord Jesus, I thank you that prophets are arising. The, the prophetic is, is moving forward. People are flexing into that prophetic muscle more and more. Lord, I pray that we, would, that we would heed the call of the prophets. I thank you, Lord, that we would rightly judge and test the prophetic words we hear. Is it an encouragement? Is it a word? Is it global, corporate? Do we have to appropriate it or is it automatic? So many questions that we have to take to you, Holy Spirit, and we do that today. Lord, like our sister Rama says, Lord, may we not despise prophecy. May we greet it with open arms. May we all flow in it in a greater way than we did yesterday. Lord Jesus, I thank you in your mighty and matchless name. Amen.